Hello students and welcome to Smart. Kids Rudo tutorials. In this uh, video, we will be uh, discussing uh, the distribution of marks for SSC for this academic year. So uh, you'll have your internal tests as well as final examination. Your internal tests, uh, there will be two of them. One in most probably August and the other one should be uh, somewhere uh, uh, before your Diwali vacations. And then you'll have your final examination which will be in April. So your first internal test should carry 20 marks. The second one will carry 20 marks. Uh, and you will have your final examination which will be for 80 marks. Your internal tests, which is uh, a total of 40 marks, 20 plus 20, adding the total marks of the first and second internal test, uh, that will be divided by 2 and it will be taken out of 20 marks. Okay, And we'll discuss this further. So totally you should have 20 plus 80 equal to 100 marks. Now, Totally, you have six subjects. Um, you may say you have seven subjects. Actually, social science includes history as well as geography. So, total comes to 100 over there. And the others are out of 100. English, Hindi, your third language, math, science, and then finally social science. So, total should add up to 600. So, finally, when you want to find out the percentage, it, uh, it will be out of 600, the total marks that you get or obtain. So, mark, the distribution of marks is divided into two parts. One is for uh, non-practical subjects. So, non-practical subjects uh, would be everything, all your subjects except science. Okay. So, the distribution of marks for the non-practical subjects would be like this. In, you will have your first internal test, which will be for 20 marks, and it will be for one hour duration. Then you have your second internal test which will be also for 20 marks and this is also one hour duration. So two the internal tests of 20 marks each and there will be one exam, the final exam, the board exam, so it will be for 80 marks. And this the total of 80 plus 20 will come to 100 marks. So this is this does not apply to for science. The calculation of marks for science is a bit different. We will discuss that later. So here you go, this is what the marks will be calculated. So you have non-practical subjects. So first internal test, uh, I told you it is out of 20 marks. The second internal test is out of 20 marks. Now why I've written 20, 10 and 10 over here is because whatever you get will become half. So total is out to 20. So only uh, it's made half, so it's 10 marks. And sim over here, out of 20 it will be, so 10. So let's say for example, you get 18 out of 20 in your first internal test. Then 9 will be uh, considered. So it will be 9 out of 10. And over here, let's say you get 16 out of 20. Then 8 marks. So half of that will be gone. So it will be 8 out of 10. So totally 8 plus 9 will be 17 out of these 20 marks. And these 20 marks will be then added to the 80 marks that you will be appearing towards the end. That will be in April. Totally 100. So this applies to uh, maths, social science, English, Hindi, and your third language, which will be could be Konkani, Marathi, French, or Portuguese. Now for social science, it's a bit different, and I'll discuss this. History and geography. Now, social science is divided in, uh, uh, divided into history and geography. Now, history carries fifty marks, and geography carries fifty marks. And how the marks are divided for each uh, subject is this way. So internal test, you will not have out of 20. You will have out of 10 for history and 10 for geography. So whatever marks you get will become half. So let's say if you get 8 out of 10, that will become 4 out of 5. Same way over here, let's say if you get 6 out of 10, then it will become 3 out of 5. So 4 plus 3 will become 7 out of 10. Okay, so 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 40 is 50. The same thing applies for 
both the subjects that means history and geography so you have 50 marks for history and 50 marks for geography total comes to 100 for social sciences now for practical subject that is for uh, science okay you have you will have first internal test which will be for 20 marks one hour duration second internal test also for 20 marks one hour duration so these two internal tests will be 20 marks each okay and then you will have one assignment that you'll have to do which will also be out of 20 marks either you can have an assignment or some innovative test or project that you may have that will be out of 20 marks now this 20 320 marks that is 20 marks from first internal test 20 marks from second internal test and 20 marks from the assignment are added together and you get 60 marks this 60 marks are divided into six, uh, divided by 6 and they it will come to 10 marks so whatever you get out of that will be out of 10 marks i'll discuss this later on and you have your year so 10 marks from all this plus uh, your practicals which will have just before your final examination that is out of 20 marks so 20 plus 10 is 30 and finally your final exam will be out of 70 marks that which will be in april so you have internal tests assignment or innovative test for 10 marks practical exam 20 and final examination 10 so all in all it is 10 plus 20 30 30 plus 70 total of 100 marks for science paper now uh, as i said before you have in, uh, this uh, 10 marks how are they distributed this way so first internal test which is also considered as a formative test both of them three first as well as second internal test 20 marks each 20 plus 20 40 and there are 20 marks for your assignment or innovative test or whatever project that you are given by your teacher totally comes a uh, total of all this comes to 60 20 plus 20 plus 20 now this 60 the formula that Guabur has in calculating marks or giving you marks for this subject for this examination is 60 divided by 6 that comes to 10 marks so let's take one example and say let's say you get uh, uh, 18 out of 20 in your first examination you get 20 out of 20 in your second exam so that comes to 20 plus 18 38 okay 38 and let's say you get uh, 18 out of 20 in your assignment so that will be your uh, 20 or 38 plus 18 that will come to uh, 56 so you totally you lost four marks so uh, you got two you lost two marks so in your first internal test and two marks let's say in your assignment so totally out of 60 you've got 56 now same thing will apply over here so let's say you will end up getting uh, instead of 60 it will be 50 uh, 56 divided by 6 so such that it div uh, gets divided by um, 6 i'll take an example let's say um, let's say you get uh, 18 in each okay you get 18 marks out of 20 in first internal test 18 marks out of 20 in your second internal test and 18 marks in your assignment 18 plus 18 plus 18 comes to 54 54 divided by 6 comes to 9 so you will get 9 out of 10 so even though you have lost 6 marks it will just show that you have lost 1 mark so accordingly prepare and study okay that does, uh, doesn't mean you relax and take it easy okay these marks all these marks are important and these are internal marks which means that you get to see your where you've done your mistakes and moreover teachers will help you to back these marks okay by helping and uh, coaching you in the class and so forth so try to back these marks although it is just 10 marks <laughs> for your practicals now practicals are to 20 marks so this is how the distribution of practical marks are you will have one long experiment which will be for 10 marks there will be a short experiment which will be for five marks and five marks are given for how well you have kept your journal whether it's uh, all the experiments are written properly it is neat it is well covered with your name roll number uh, class division everything written on it means up to you have kept it up to date then you will get your five marks so totally 10 plus 5 plus 5 you will get 
20 marks for practicals okay so your practical examination will be somewhere in march before your final examination okay so with this uh, we come to an end of uh, this video where uh, where i have broken down the marks for you and accordingly you look to prepare yourself for your final examination based on how these marks are distributed okay i hope uh, i made it easier for you to understand how the marks are distributed and how you will get uh, your marks okay so accordingly you can prepare uh, if you have liked watching this video please hit the like button share this video with as many friends and classmates as possible and uh, if you haven't subscribed with the word uh, to the channel please do subscribe thanks for watching keep watching more such videos